Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, let's say you had an extra $100,000, $110,000 burning a hole in your pocket, and you didn't have anything to do for three years, this is what you'd be doing. You'd be burning that up, two full stickers of options and features on this car, right? And three years from now, you could be driving it. Or you can do it our way. You buy these cars where somebody's done a spectacular job on the build of it, right? Drove it for just a few miles and is ready to take on the next one. For them, it's therapy. They love doing this stuff, right? For you, you're like, wow, that is a great deal. Wow, that's a great car. Are you telling me I could be driving it this weekend? Yes, you could be driving it this weekend. That's why I get the smile on my face because when you drive this car, and I'm telling you, man, this car is bad freaking A. It rolls down the road. All right, so let's run down some of the build for a second. 502 big block, aluminum heads, GM crate motor, so it's 502, 502 horsepower, bone stock with nothing added. There's a little bit of extra work done here, but we're just gonna say it's 502, 502. Start with that, right? 13 grand for just the engine. Transmission, so overdrive automatic. So you can drive this car, man. You go to a car show two hours away and the car's not the whole way and you're like sweating and hope the car survives. That overdrive transmission, your wife will go with you, your husband will go with you, whatever, because it drives and runs. This was designed to go, first off, super fast. Second, it's designed to cruise as well. So then throw in the fact that it has a Ford nine inch rear and a four link setup. The reason we say, why is a Ford nine inch rear in a Chevy? Because it's the best rear you could get maybe other than a Dana, but it's all for argument's sake. But anyway, and it looks so beefy and big in there and the big coilovers and the way everything's tied in there. Okay, so all that's in place. Let's say that's 25,000 for just the drivetrain. It's at least 20 grand to restore a car, do the body, take it apart, paint it, floor pans, fenders, hood, glass, all of that stuff, right? So you get that done too, and that takes another year, right? Then let's add some other things. This car has what's called an exoskeleton. Some people might call it uh, a frame on top of a frame. So when we look underneath this car, it's tied together everywhere. So when you roll down the road and you hit a bump, it's like choo -choo, choo -choo, and you feel how stiff the car is and it makes a huge difference. All right, so great. So you got all that. It certainly goes fast and certainly handles well, but how does it stop? How I know can I stop? Well, good question. I'm glad you asked that. Come on here, I'm gonna show you why. 17 inch old school Kregers, right? I love these rims. And the cool thing about buying a car from us here is I'm happy to buy these from you. If you want to get something else, you want us to put a different style wheel and tire on there, I'm totally happy with that. You will not hurt uh, my feelings one bit because you know what? I want to personalize it for you. If you love the way it looks, I love the way it looks. If you love the way it looks, we'll leave it alone. So I want you to know that up front. But check this out. Even the calipers are polished. Billet calipers that are polished, cross drilled and slotted rotors. 17 inch wheels with low profile tires, right? Look how much tire is back there. It's amazing. This car will hold even more wheel and tire than if you wanted to. But I also wanted to show you was how straight the body was. Like, check this out. This is the lower door. Nobody gets down and wet sands to the door. Painters don't bend their knees very often. This is a lot of work that's gone into this car and you need to see what you're getting. These right here, these are Z28 emblems from the 2015 Z28. They've made very few of those right there. You can't get them anymore. The only place you can get them is if you come steal them off of this car. <laughs> All right, so let's keep rolling around. So again, four wheel disc brakes, big polished calipers back here, cross drilled and slotted, right? Cool, let me show you this part. Check this out here. Look at how the exoskeleton, look at the stainless exhaust built into an X-pipe, polished mufflers. Look at the dollars spent underneath here. It's amazing. If you've ever built a car, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The front and rear spoilers, awesome there, all right? Check this out. Often you see Pro Touring SS Camaros. Here we have a Pro Touring Z28, the way it's dressed up. And it's dust dynamite. And if you can, take a peek here. We just finished washing some cars, there's a little water on the ground. But see the Ford 9-inch hanging down? The full, fully adjustable coilover suspension over there. It also has adjustments for, for ride height and it has compression and dampening uh, adjustments as well. So you can change the ride of the car, you can change the ride height of the car, and I don't know, it's just, woo, how you doing? I gotta go. All right, so let's say you wanted to go to a car show, all right? Do I need to say any more about this? Now remember we talked about driving. Like we said, okay, this is a driver's car. Well, there is a driver's car here because it has 
uh, the suspension in here. What we didn't talk about is it no longer has a steering box. It has rack and pinion steering from a modern car. So I want to show you this real quick. If you could come down here and check out. Look at the front end of this thing. Even the tie rod ends are chrome. The sway bar is chrome. All right. Then look at this little beauty. Air conditioning. Wow, man. How nice is that? Not only does the car handle, but it's got a polished AC compressor. Serpentine belt drive. Billet pulleys. Okay? The billet pulley setup alone is $1,200. All of this, painted, not painted satin black, painted gloss black. Detroit Speed wiper motor. Chrome master cylinder and brake booster. Chrome hinges. I mean, I run on and on, and yeah, I get excited about it, but just like little stuff here, like just everything inside here. Like it's got a vacuum pump here, it's got a uh, billet overflow here, it's got the power steering reservoir, which is also billet as well. You can see how beautiful the steering system is that goes through there. Ceramic coated exhaust, so nothing gets rusty. All right, and one of the other things I like to talk about is, is drivability. You know, we talked about the handling, the air conditioning, the overdrive automatic, all that adds to it. But the one thing that people forget to do is keep everything cool. Because if this gets overheated, you're going to get overheated. So check this out for a second. Look at the size of the radiator. It's 30 or 40 percent bigger than the stock one, which would have fit here, right? And it's also a module. So look at it. It has this right here, this cover, and this electric fan, which seals it all off and pulls enormous amounts of uh, air through the radiator. And on top of it, it adds a little of security. This way you can go get in a cruise, go sit in traffic at the beach, and not worry about the car overheating and leaving you stranded. And this is exactly why you should be buying a car like this, so that you can drive it, you can have some fun, and not have to listen to somebody say, we shouldn't have taken the car because it's too hot, it doesn't like the weather. This car doesn't care what the temperature is. In the wintertime, you should drive this car because it has modern heat. In the summertime, you should drive this car because it has modern air conditioning and it has a big radiator and, 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 and that's why I get so excited about it. All right, so let's check out the trunk for a second. And this is the kind of things you should be looking for. It's got a beautiful little sign that somebody made because they love this car, right? Has a full-size spare in there. Again, we talked about these cars driving someplace. Uh, we can put a spare tire cover on there if you want, all right? Extra set of lug nuts as well. And we have one more emblem. Uh, that we were going to put on the back here. I'm going to give it to you, all right, because it's an expensive emblem. Uh, and just let us know if you want that on there. But uh, uh, that's what that is. Anyway, we have custom-made carpet for the trunk, new weather strips. All this stuff is buffed, wet sanded, just beautifully done so that you get some shine and some detail, all right? It even has a power cutoff if you want right here. It shuts all the power off to the car, which I just did. Say you're going to go, say you're not going to drive it for a week or two, you can shut that off, all right? And then you don't have to worry about coming back and finding a dead battery. So, we've talked a lot about the outside, all right? Let's talk about the inside. And the one thing we should talk about the inside first is this. Listen to that, man. Listen. That is hours and hours of getting that fit and finish just into the door, right? So, custom made leather bucket seats in the rear seat to match, right? Plenty of room for people back there. Seat belts all the way through. A matter of fact, uh, looks like there's seating for three back there. So, if you have kids or something like that's great. This has the upgraded overdrive call out here. So, instead of having a three speed automatic, this has a four speed automatic and it shows you what gear you're in there. Those cool, console gauges so there's a little bit of like old school wrapped up in here and uh, new school too like this is typically nice looking in black all right but more of a matte black this is gloss black you can see somebody's paint in here inside those door uh, hinges beautiful paint and it's been rubbed out somebody's went ahead and buffed it Are you kidding me this has the chrome air conditioning vents for an air conditioned car so everything fits the way it's supposed to Billet steering column with tilt wheel. Billet specialty steering wheel. All right. Billet knobs. Car showing 3,481 3, miles since the restoration. 3,400 miles. Let's say 3,500 miles since the restoration. This is like brand new. And the cool thing about it, man, it drives like a dream and it sounds wonderful. So, how about I fire it up for you so you get to hear what it sounds like? <laughs> All right, so let's close up the video and run down some of the highlights. 
spectacular no expense spared frame off rotisserie restoration. What a wonderful, wonderful car, right? Big brakes, TCI power steering, rack and pinion, all right? Full TCI exoskeleton subframe. Now going down to some of the things here, the nine inch rear, the overdrive automatic, uh, the upgraded radiator, air conditioning, the killer stereo in the car. I mean, it's all this cool stuff, man. If you're building a car, this is how you do it. If you want to change the wheels and tires out, you don't love Craigers, I'm cool with that, no problem. Let us know and we can fix that for you. If you want to change a couple small things on the car, no problem, we can fix that for you as well. Anyway, if you love it just the way it is, you can be driving it this weekend. A couple small little things that you might not even notice is these are pearl white stripes. You can't even feel, you can hardly feel these stripes at all. I say can't feel, but you can barely just feel them, but because they've been clear coated and they'll last you a really long time. All right, so I've rambled on. You got to get this car. Forget all the stuff I said. What I said means nothing. Look at the pictures, look at the build, price the stuff out on this car on the web. Build yourself one. You'll be able to earn 100 grand in no time at all, and it'll be two or three years if you can find somebody to start working on it tomorrow. That's why this is such a great car. Anyway, call us SS502. Camaro Z28 Pro Touring, bad, bad, bad mamma jamma, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about it.